and, and as we look outside and see all these big buildings in Silicon Valley, when you arrived here, I think it was quite different, no? Yeah, I would have, I would have, I would have been looking at lots of uh, uh, trees of, you know, uh, apricots, uh, walnuts, <laughs> orchards, of uh, all sorts of things. You know, Oh, yeah. and, and prunes and so on, right? It was, yeah. it was essentially mostly orchards here. Yeah, San Jose, which is a few few blocks away from here, uh, was in those days was uh, probably 150,000 people, and mostly you know it, it was in the country, so to speak, yeah. in the agricultural agricultural yeah, area, yeah, yeah. and uh, so you know it was like a, you wouldn't want to go to San Jose, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and now it's over a million people, so uh, and. So, you know, 50 years have changed this valley in, um, in an unbelievable way. So by 1969, you were still at SGS Fairchild, correct? And then you, you made a move outside, right? But, you know, at SGS Fairchild, yeah, I was until uh, until 1st of July of 68. Because, because in June, uh, uh, Fairchild decided to sell their interests in SGS Fairchild. They asked me to stay. In those days, I was in the middle of developing the Silicon Gate technology, which is, you, you, you know, is the technology that really changed the way we do integrated circuits, circuits. because it eventually surpassed bipolar and so replaced even bipolar, then in 68, represented 95% of the sales. Yeah. So, so, um, so the Silicon Gate really was the way, the way to go. In one shot, we had five times the speed and twice the density with the same power dissipation, same design rules. I mean, that's a game, big change. Yeah. That was a game changer. Game changer. That would allow to make microprocessor, dynamic RAM, because the leakage was uh, about 100 to 1,000 times less than metal yeah. gate yeah. because you could do gathering, yeah. which you couldn't do in metal gate. And then and then, uh, and then, then the floating floating gate transistor, so the, all the non-volatile memories they needed silicon gate because you needed a good oxide to protect the, you know, as an insulator of the yeah. few electrons that you could sneak into this gate. Right, right. But so, but everyone was was believing dynamic RAM was was the the priority, not microprocessor. No? Oh, in those days, in those days, uh, most people didn't didn't get it, especially yeah. people in the industry. But who we'll get it were the the customers. They they had a problem. They you know before they had to. To make a hardware solution, typically a state machine, to solve the problem, now they could use the same components and uh, just develop a simple software. So instead of taking two years in order to have a you know a prototype or a year and a half to have a prototype, you know they could do it in a month. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's that, it changed the game. Yeah. So you decided to stay in. in in decided, Silicon Valley. I decided to stay in Silicon Valley because uh, because you know here here it was was where the action was. Exactly. And uh, um, so that's you know and I also wanted to finish the Silicon Gate technology. It wasn't done yet right. in, uh, in 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 June when I decided to stay. 